Alrighty guys, welcome to the Flat Academy's YouTube channel. Today we have something special for you guys. Here is the Zenith 701 Stoll. This airplane is the champion of Stoll airplanes. It's advertised, by, according to the POH, to land in 80 feet and take off ground roll at just 50 feet. Are those numbers true? We're about to find out. We're here at beautiful Flaybob Airport today. It's a beautiful day. We just came from Cable. They had a little air show. So it's a little quiet over here. It's perfect for us to do our little um, experiment today. So we already set up the uh, distance markers and Max, the cameraman, will be watching and uh, measuring basically the takeoff and uh, landing distances. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of this airplane. So according to the logbooks, Albert Hoover built it in 2004 out of a kit. And then when he first uh, completed it, it was on amphibian floats and he was having a lot of fun flying in and out of uh, lakes in the Midwest. Now my very good friend Aaron uh, bought it uh, I think like five years ago and he's been using it to fly in and out of his property with a tight runway. But he recently purchased an MD500 helicopter and doesn't need the uh, Zenith anymore. So I took it on over from him. Uh, we did a bunch of work on it. It wasn't airworthy. The engine wasn't starting. And then uh, we got it running really nice, did a condition inspection on it. And I've been having a lot of fun flying it uh, on the mountaintops and north of the San Fernando Valley. The 701s and Zeniths are home built, obviously built mostly from kits. So they vary a lot in the configuration. But this specific airplane has one of the biggest engines that I've heard being installed on a Zenith 701, which is the Rotax 914 Turbo. Yes, this little thing has a turbo in it. And it, it turns out 115 horsepower. And for 700 pounds empty weight, it's a lot of power. Wow, holy smokes. Right? Wow. <laughs> so let's get out there in the pattern and see if we can get those numbers. Flip up traffic, 7 to 7 0 1 alpha. Now, texting joint 2 4 flip up. Flip up traffic, experimental 701 up on down. Take it off to four with a momentary delay and we'll be left with close traffic. Flip up. Traffic from a Toana for hotel left down one two four on the full stop flip up. Flip up traffic from a Toana for hotel turning final for two four flip up.
go. That's better. So there you have it guys, after three attempts, the best numbers turned out 85 feet for the takeoff ground roll and about 160 feet for the landing distance. Um, now those are not the advertised numbers, but they're pretty darn impressive. And again, keep in mind, this is not a brand new airplane, it's a 20 year old airplane, it's not performing, you know, as a brand new airplane. And also the wind is pretty calm over here, we got a little breeze. So maybe with more wind, maybe with a brand new airplane, brand new brakes, you know, it can get those numbers. But I'm still pretty impressed and uh, I'm pretty impressed with this airplane. It's a very capable stall airplane. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are a Zenith or a Stoll pilot, what numbers are you getting? I'd like to know in the comment section. Thanks again for watching, thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this.